Well, good morning everybody. My name is Dr. J.D. Swanson and welcome to 15 Minutes of Thought. And today what we're doing is number five of a series of five on Kihon Ippon Kumite. And I'm focusing on Kanazawa's series of Jordan attacks. So without further ado, let's get started. Oops. Very good. So today what we're going to do is we're going to warm up with our same ones that we've done sort of over the last couple of weeks. So the first one, of course, if you recall, is Agyuke Gyatsuki. Good. Second one, driving up to the side, 30 degree angle, Kokuts Tate Shito. Pushing out, Shito each into Zen Kuts. The next one is from there, driving out, 50, uh, 30 degrees or so, making Agyuke into Heizukadach. Yoko Gerikiage. Yoko Empiuchi. And then, of course, the one that we did most recently is, of course, stepping back, making Jujuke, making Mawashigiri, turning Yoko or Empiuchi. Okay, so just going through those, the one, two, three, four, just thinking your way through them just quickly now. Give that a go. Excellent. So let's move on to the next one. From here, this one is really kind of simple. It's not as hard as the last one. All you want to do is from here, step back, make aguke. So one, readjust your distance. Two, make jodan maegiri. Then, age impi uchi. Okay, so one more time from the side. You're going to step back, making aguke. From here, readjust your distance. Jordan Agaimpi, like so. Okay, so nice and easy. Try going through those motions, then come back and we'll go through some details here and there. Give it a go. Excellent, so you've given that a go. Now what I want you to do is from here, think about these sorts of ideas. So if you make the argue can up from here, and of course check, make sure your course of action for Age is not coming across and up, not doing all those goofy things. Keep it close to your body, cover it straight up through the center, covers just almost this knuckle here, side of your nose, and rotate into position. Timing the hip, body, arm together. Make sure all of that is one nice, accurate movement, but you already knew that. The next piece is really thinking about that, that pulling the hip back. So what you want to do here is make sure that you're not shifting forward. The purpose of this, or the concept that's sort of being relayed here, is this idea of adjusting distance. If I've made Aguke and I make Maigiri, it's far too close for me to be able to make that kick with my partner being where they are. And I encourage you to try this when we can train with people again. So instead, what this does is this says, hey, readjust your distance, right, like so. So as I'm here, the, the particular movement just says, just rotate, pull. This gives me enough distance now to be able to lift my knee high, make the jaw down, and drive in. So allow that readjustment of distance. Allow from here, this pull back. Make sure that you're rotating off this back hip and pulling further away from your opponent. Make sure that's the piece. Keep this rear leg active. Make sure that as you go, don't come up. Keep everything, just transfer the bend from this knee to this knee. So from here to here. Now, easy. See, this is bent, ready to go. Ready to transfer my weight to make the jaw and kick and come up. So think about the ugly case. Make that shift. Give it a go. Excellent. Once you've done that, now from here, from this position, Keep this tucked in also as you make the shift back. Don't keep your bum out. We're not doing bum out karate. Keep here, stick. Keep underneath you. From here, feel that nice pelvic tilt as you lift and as you expand, boom, boom, up. Then drive, right? So as you make the kick, don't expand the hip out and sort of fall forward. Allow the hip to make the kick and then land back here. So now I make drive, right? Allow the kick from here to make and drive. Now I can drive the hip in, right? Don't just from here, whoop, expand and then here. Again, just like what we did with, those, with that short Mawashigiri last week, right? The idea of keeping here, keeping this dynamic twitch, being able to throw through, 
keep the hip back and just use it just when you need the expansion. Don't drive the expansion forward and then come lumbering in. Keep it tight and compact for here, compact. Then you can drive and expand, right? And that allows you this nice body action of the hip to pull with this hand, keep them here. You've just kicked them in the face. Use the hand to pull them back, right? So you end up with this boom, boom, boom feeling as they go. Because otherwise, while you're kicking Jota, then coming through Agiempi and hitting them, bang, and continuing. So when you make that drive feel here, the Jota can go, oh, you've got a hold of them, yeah? You've made here, you grab, you pull them back down. This actually pulls them back down. So what that would do for your opponent is you block them, you kick them, the pull of the arm through the retraction of the hand and that pull action back pulls them forward again, which then brings you underneath. If you stay out and pull, it's not going to have that same effect. You want that pull of the hip, pull of the body, and then the drive of the hip. It needs to be dynamically that way. Really hard to show when I'm pantomiming it by myself. But from here, give that a go. So feel the dynamicism here, feel that pullback, feel the hip being dynamic in, re-squeeze and click, then pull and grab and explode out. Give that a go, and then, and then we'll try it all together. Excellent. So from here now, try and run the whole thing together. Feel the nice, explosion, the pull, the kick, dynamic, then expand back up. A couple of other silly points, make sure when you make RGMP, don't, not palm to shoulder, palm to ear, you already knew that, but make sure that's right. And also as you go, feel the same dynamic for the hip as you drive up, allow the hip to rise. It doesn't need to remain still and you stilt it, allow it to push in allow that dynamicism to occur, that full expansion through the rib cage. Good. Okay, so let's from here think about this in terms of sort of freeing up our kumite. Let's think about what these have taught us. The first one, of course, was the idea of shifting forward and back. And come somebody, I block, then dynamically drive forward. I'm here, drive forward. Right, either of those. Along that linear path, me to you. The second one, was talking about this nice dynamic from here cutting the angle backwards or to the side and expanding out and driving in, right? The next one, of course, is think about this dynamic on the angle, going back to the closed side and dynamically working, right? The fourth one was about the idea of just cutting straight through the middle, cutting through on that 15 degree angle. This last one, is the idea here of being able to cut distance. So you're here, this is the classic push, pull, bomb, and this idea coming straight through the middle. But because they're coming towards you, you either can send or send it, just fire it straight off the button, so they're here, oh, bang, straight in. Or we need to adjust distance, you ride them out, you can ride and then adjust, you can ride and adjust, or you may need to pull right back to adjust. It's about that concept. It's about making and creating the distance that you need to your opponent by not just shifting, blocking, and driving, but rather dynamically pulling and pushing this feeling. So it's getting at that. That's the idea. So you can play with those now in terms of Jiwipon. And when you think of the geniusness of this, these aren't just these are incredibly good basic techniques to practice. They're not necessarily good Ippon Kumite techniques. So thinking about that idea of they teach you a lot of different body dynamics. Again, dig deeper into these. Don't just learn them strictly for the sake of learning them, but rather learn them for the sake of what they're trying to teach you. Okay? There's a whole nother side of this that myself and, and some friends have been talking about in terms of each movement, if we rather than make them blocks, make them controlling techniques, either into the shoulders, into the arms, into the body and grabbing, that that again changes the complete dynamic of these. And we can do another series on that if you like, looking at these same five techniques. 
just let me know. But the idea for what I focused on is in terms of body movement, that first step, driving forward and back, cutting to their open side, cutting to their closed side, cutting through them, right? And adjusting distance and being able to go through the middle. These, in my opinion, are some of the really important principles that get to us from learning Kanazawa's basic Jodan Kion upon Kumite. And with that, I hope you have an awesome day. Look forward to seeing you all again soon. Hey. Bus.